Hi everybody, uh, Lynette here, recruiter at Delgado Community College. Um, just giving you a brief overview of what Delgado has to offer and how you can get started in your educational journey with us. Uh, we want to start by letting you know that we have seven different convenient locations throughout the uh, greater New Orleans area. So hopefully you see something that's close to you that seems convenient. Otherwise, we do want to remind you that we have a wide range of online course offerings of fully online programs as well as hybrid courses um, that allow you to have to come in person uh, perhaps just once a week. And we also have housing agreements with both SUNO and UNO. So if you'd like to get that dorm experience, that is a possibility. As a community college, we have um, the option of you obtaining basic skills, uh, your high school equivalency to maybe continuing education, professional development, certificate and technical programs, and your associate's degree. Let's begin by exploring our academic division, which is one of the three. Through our academic division, we have over a hundred different programs to choose from. This is just a sampler of those offerings. Um, if you would like to explore um, the wide variety of options that we have for you, please visit our website, dcc.edu. Under academics, you can see the full listing there. As a community college, we pride ourselves not only on providing a small classroom experience for all of our students where you will not be just a number, but you will be able to build relationships both with your peers and your instructors. We also um, have that hands-on learning and opportunities uh, for our students, whether you are in a technical program or whether you are doing something like theater, where our um, instructors really want you to get that experience and be hands-on as soon as possible so that you're able to really see what that career is like and you can transfer those skills easily into the workforce. And while we can be the first stop, no matter what uh, may be your desired career, you can definitely continue on and we encourage you to continue your education. The Louisiana Transfer Degree is a great program for those of you who are thinking of someday going into law school, medical school, getting your MSW, getting your PhD someday. With this, you would come and do your 60, your first 60 credit hours, um, and then that would guarantee you admission into a four-year public institution. Um, you can um, sit with your academic counselor, make a plan so that once you finish here, you can be um, a junior at your next institution where you transfer, um, and then be done with your bachelor's degree very quickly. In terms of the price tag on the degree, on that bachelor's degree that we just mentioned, starting off at a community college can really make a huge financial difference. And so here we have a comparison of four students. Two of them start at community college. The other two um, start at a four-year institution, one of them at a state university and the other at a private university. This is the annual cost of tuition alone. So these uh, costs that are represented here do not include fees, transportation, housing, meal plans, books, right? And so this is a very uh, low end of the spectrum. At the end of the day, at the end of these four years, um, all students will have a bachelor's degree, but the price tag on that bachelor's degree will really have a huge range from 28K to 140K. So as you're thinking about making um, that choice of where you want to continue, of where you want to start your higher education journey or continue that journey, uh, please think about the price tag and think about what financial resources are available to you because whatever is not met by that financial aid will have to come out of your pocket, right? So you wanna make a smart decision. And so how do you enroll in college? 
we can not make it any easier. Um, our application is free. It will take you about 15 minutes to complete. You can do it for free online, dcc.edu. After you complete it, you need to do your online freshman orientation. And please also uh, keep in mind that we have ongoing enrollment. So if you want to start taking your classes in the fall, in the summer, in the spring, um, through a May master, through a term B that will last um, eight weeks rather than 16 weeks, you can do that, right? Because we're continuously enrolling students. Our placement test is no longer required. You have one of three options. Submit your ACT scores, take the Accuplacer, which is the placement test, or just go straight into developmental courses. And the nice thing about that is that now all of our developmental English and all, and all of our developmental math courses have been squeezed into one. So there's only one developmental and one developmental, um, one developmental English, one developmental math class that you would need to take. Um, and some programs don't even have that requirement. So it may be that you don't even need to take it. Something you do need to do is um, turn in your immunization records or sign a waiver. If you're a male 18 to 25 with a social security number, you gotta make sure you do your selective service registration. You do not have to turn in high school transcripts or equivalency unless we ask you for it. And also important reminder is that in the state of Louisiana, you do not need US citizenship or legal residency in order to be enrolled in a higher education institution. So we really pride ourselves in being a diverse um, student population. So we have international students, undocumented students, um, students who have asylum status, and uh, yeah, all those student populations are welcome at those. We invite you, encourage you to get involved in our student life. There's a lot of different opportunities from joining a club or starting your own. There's an honors program, there's student government, um, and we also have athletics, both uh, baseball and basketball. As a community college student, we understand that you have needs beyond uh, coming prepared to your class, right? You may need help uh, with tutoring, mentoring, career services, maybe you're a veteran, maybe you have a disability. And for all those different needs, um, we also want to support that uh, aspect of your student um, success. So um, please seek out the services. They are there for you, and we are happy to support you in your journey. How do students pay for college? There's a lot of different resources out there. And with some research and with some preparation, you can take advantage of all those um, opportunities. So there is grants and scholarships. So this is money that you do not have to pay back. There is loans, which is money that you have to pay back with interest. And there is also college work study, which is um, a federal program that allows you to work and make money as you're going to school. In order to qualify, I'm sorry, to be eligible for the FAFSA and then have access to federal and state funds, you need to fill out the FAFSA. For that, you do need U.S. citizenship or legal residency, and you can get more information on fafsa.ed.gov. If any of you are high school students currently, um, or maybe you're a parent or a caregiver with a high school student at home, dual enrollment is a wonderful opportunity. This allows students, high school students, to be to start earning a college credit as high school students. So um, not only does that mean that they're getting those credits already done with and then maybe be in college for a lot less. Um, this also means that they're getting a feel for what a college course is like and have a smoother transition out of high school. And the wonderful thing about it is that many times uh, high schools may uh, be paying for these courses or that um, in the worst case scenario, if even if it comes out of pocket, it is at a fraction of the usual cost. So it's a great way to get um, some college credits out of the way at a very low cost. For more information on that, you can contact my colleague, Brittany Williams. Now let's talk about adult education briefly, which is another essential part of our Delgado um, offerings. 
all of our opportunities through adult education are free of cost. And this really helps um, community members get ready to make that transition eventually to a, com to a college uh, curriculum, right? So this may mean getting your high school diploma, improving basic skills, learning English, or getting some coaching and advising in uh, college and career. Um, for more information on that, you can go on dccaep.org or contact my colleague, Nia Davis. Lastly, workforce development. So if any of you want to get uh, training in a, something very specific, in a short period of time and then go straight into the workforce in a high demand field that meets your skill sets, your skill set, I'm sorry, uh, workforce is for you. So these are the four different areas in which um, workforce can train you. Um, and for more information on workforce and non-credit options, you can uh, contact noncredit at dcc.edu. And lastly, uh, please, we invite you to stay connected with us uh, via social media. We are all over the place, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. And you can also send us a good old fashioned email, now old fashioned. <laughs> um, and you can go on our website, dc.edu and use our live chat feature where you can get connected with somebody and get your questions answered uh, right away. It's not a chat bot. So there is somebody, a real person that is there to answer your questions. We hope to hear from you.